Welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about monospaced font in HTML. So guys, the content that is within the TT tag, that is the starting tag and the ending tag over here is written in a monospaced font. Now, what is a monospaced font? So most of the fonts are known as variable width fonts because different letters are of different widths. For example, the letter M over here is wider than the letter I. So you can see the width of the letter M, it is more compared to the width of the letter I over here. Now in a monospaced font, however, each letter has the same width. So this we are going to check with the help of examples now. Now guys, remember that the TT tag that is used for the monospaced font in HTML is being deprecated and we must use the KBD tag if we are using the HTML5 version. So let us check this with the help of examples now in the VS code. So what we will do is we will have a paragraph with the P tag over here and we will say this text is monospaced. So over here we have this text is monospaced in this paragraph. So this is one statement inside the paragraph that this text is monospaced in this paragraph. Let me just save this file now and try reloading this page. As you can see, we are getting a simple paragraph over here. Now guys, what we need to do is these three words that is text is monospaced. We want to display it in the monospaced font. So what we will do is inside the source code, we need to enclose these three words within the TT tag. So over here, we will simply have the less than symbol and then we will say TT over here and then greater than symbol. So let me just cut this ending tag and paste it after this monospaced word. So we have enclosed this text is monospaced within this TT tag that is the start tag and the end tag. As you can see it is being displayed in the red color that's because this tag is deprecated in the latest version of the HTML. Let me just save this file now and try reloading this page. So as you can see the appearance of this text is monospaced is different compared to the other words in the same paragraph over here. All the characters of this text is having the same width now. So guys basically even though this tag is deprecated but still it is being supported in some of the latest versions. It is better to use the latest tags over here and that is what we have the KBD tag for. So basically this is another tag in the HTML5 that we can use in order to have the same functionality similar to this TT tag. So I'll just remove the TT tag over here and we will say KBT in this case. So when we type KBD, so as you can see KBT is being suggested by the VS code. I'll end it using the greater than symbol and then cut this ending tag and replace this TT tag with the ending tag of the KBT. Let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again. No change will be noticed as you can see since the text is monospaced is being displayed over here using the KBD tag as well. So guys this is the way that we can have the monospaced font for some of the text or all of the text inside the paragraph or any other text that you are using based on your requirements. Comment in the comment section below if you have learned something out of this video. Please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is making text superscript in HTML using the SUP tag. So stay tuned.